Rising health care costs are a burden for small and mid-sized businesses, and wellness programs are delivering real cost savings. In fact, in 2006, research by the Society for Human Resource Management found almost half of companies provided some sort of incentive to encourage wellness. And our guest today offers helpful tips on the power of staying well. A small business owner, wellness consultant, licensed therapist, and author, Patricia E. Adams works with small firms. Welcome to SBTV.com, Patricia. How can a small business owner um, compete, you know, with these larger companies who can maybe afford or who are already offering wellness programs? The key is starting small. That's why we're called a small business. I was at a wellness conference just a couple of weeks ago and listened to some of the large firms. And did you know that 80 to 90 percent of their wellness products are online? So I think the benefit for a small business owner is you're still small enough to have that one-on-one -on -one interaction between you and that provider of service. If you go online and you look at the wellness products that they're offering, there's nothing wrong with it. Most of it is an assessment online. It's tips that come in every day on how to access these services, whereas a small business owner still has the ability to say, we can still touch you, we can still personalize these programs to meet the needs of our employees and that's where we step into the gap at Zeitgeist in San Antonio. Yeah, talk a little bit more about the specifics of how Zeitgeist has been successful because you are integrating a whole wellness center and Correct. so it's not just for your employees but it's all your clients are participating in this overall wellness and well-being and prevention. Kind yes, of and what we did was we went to small businesses and we said look we can bring a small product on site for you that includes a personal trainer, a nutritionist, a massage therapist and a behavioral health specialist. We don't like to call them counselors anymore. They they're behavioral health specialists. <laughs> and so what we do is we take our program on the world road and we call it Jumpstart. And we say that if you give us 12 to 16 weeks in the beginning, we will jumpstart your employees into wellness. And we believe that wellness doesn't just incorporate the physical, mm -hmm. but also the spiritual and the, and the psychological and the physical as well. So you get the nutritionist, you get the personal trainer who teaches you how to work out at work mm -hmm. using the components of your job site, including the stairs versus the elevator, parking further away in the parking lot than having to have that space right by the door. So we take your environment and we make it a wellness environment for you. And if you want, you can take it to the next level and come to us on site where we offer those services as well. That's wonderful because I think on other interviews here on SBTV.com, we've alluded to a wellness center and seeking one out in your area as a small business owner right. can be a great way. To, that's one of those things you can outsource but offer to your employees. Um, how could a person find some place like your wellness centers if it's, you're in 18 states? Right. But is it, is it, do you find it online? or? Well, you can find Zeitgeist online, of okay. course, at zeitgeistwellnessgroup.com. But what we do is we actually go into your community, if, we, if we're not there already, and we find the components of a wellness product, which means we go find a nutritionist, we find a personal trainer, we find a behavioral health specialist, and the massage therapist, and we create Jumpstarts teams for you and then we place them in your business. And I will tell you that most nutritionists and massage therapists and personal trainers and counselors are small business owners themselves. They've never ever really seen a component like this where we bring them together and we create Jumpstart teams for them across the continental United States and then they go in and do the work that the small businesses ask us to do. Okay, so once a wellness program has been designed, right. what are some great incentives for an employer or a small business owner to implement in order to make sure it's a success? Well, that's where you go back to the employees and say, what do you want? How does this benefit you? I mean, we've got some employer employees that are 50, right. 60, 70 pounds overweight. So they won't need or won't request the same thing that someone that's not 50 pounds overweight. So you have to ask your team, what would you like? What components of this Jumpstart program would best suit us? And then you create the program that best fits that employee. You and I, again, you know, we're... We're at different levels, so let's individualize the program. Let's keep it simple like that. And again, for those small business owners, those massage therapists and personal trainers and other folks who never really seen themselves as a, a part of a larger picture, Zeitgeist is going to revamp how small businesses come together and how they do work and how they support one another. So we love our product, and we think that it is the going intervention for small businesses today. Speaking of that, 
as a small business owner and I implement a wellness program, what can I see a difference in my bottom line eventually of or course. right away? Even, of course, or? of course. Some of our programs you can see um, a change right away because the bottom line for small businesses is decrease their their health insurance premiums. Mm -hmm. We want to be proactive instead of reactive. We talk about that all the time. So let's say you bought in part of your jump start with smoking cessation. If you have an employee who stops smoking, your health insurance premium goes down. If you have an employee who's 50 pounds overweight or he or she loses weight, your health in premium goes down. So the bottom line for a small business owner is to look at their insurance premium and go, where can I cut my costs? And part of that is, again, going back to the employee and helping them to become holistically well. And that's our job. That's our task at Guys Wellness Group. Maybe you have an example or a testimonial you could share about a small business owner who may have really used your services and you followed up and have seen something really click for them that you might be able to share with some of our other small business owners. The, the one now, the, the big one across the company in the United States and, and is the smoking. Mm. It's huge. The amount of money that we spend in the long run on health issues as it relates to primary smoke and secondary smoke is huge. And so when a small business owner gets their team of folks together and say, you know, are you interested in stopping smoking? You're, you're, you're cutting your costs for not just today but for years to come. And you're also improving, improving the quality of someone's life if they stop smoking. So that's the first one. And, of course, we've seen a lot of... You know, the surgeries done, the lap band surgeries mm. and the gastric bypasses and things like that. And the reason that some employers are even paying for that, again, is to decrease their health insurance premiums. I've seen some companies put their employees on a payment plan so the employer pays for it. Small businesses, we're not talking large companies, a small business owner who says, I will pay for you to get that surgery. Because in the long run, and they're good employees and they want to keep them, mm -hmm. but if we don't take care of this obesity issue in our mm -hmm. country, you know, we're asking, our, we're asking for our health insurance premiums to go up because the cost later is much more expensive. I mean, we can talk about marriage counseling, the same thing, too, because the more money I spend on the front end to help save a marriage and decrease those marital crisis issues cuts on the cost long term, too. I was on a plane coming down here. and. So I had a, little, a row of children sitting behind me. Well, I'm going home to see mommy, and, and they're, you know what I'm talking about. So it's like, gosh, we could really save ourselves some money on the back end if we just spend a little money on the front end. Thank you, Patricia, for being here and helping us jumpstart a wellness program in your small business. It could be as simple as encouraging your employees to take the stairs or parking further away from the office and also getting buy-in from them so that you're not dictating to them what wellness means to them. And if you'd like more information, Patricia Adams' book is The ABCs of Change, and her firm, Zeitgeist Wellness Group, provides services to residents of 18 states, and they'll come wherever you are. So you can look for her on her website or look for her other wellness segments right here on SBTV.com, where small business is the only business.